The loudest voice in the room is usually the dumbest. What an example of this you have seen. Finding out everyone on the internet is suddenly an expert in the operation, design, and recovery of deep submergence vehicles has certainly been an eye-opener. You know the weirdos that show up at town hall meetings. Those voices. Edit. Thank you for the love. There's a sign at Ramsett Park that says, Do not drink the sprinkler water, so I made sun tea with it and now I have an infection. I work loss prevention. I arrested a guy once, who when he was searched by police and had his meth taken, shouted give me back my crystal meth. At the top of his lungs. So probably that. Ever been to a family dinner? Every class in every public school ever. Edit. For everyone saying the teacher, teachers speak the most, they are rarely loudest. Edit. Dear Reddit. I never thought that this would happen to me. For those of you who didn't read Penthouse Magazine forums in the 70s, that comment is probably lost on you. I'm amazed that I've been here for a few years and got this many upvotes for this comment. I'm sure that there have been a number of studies around this I recall reading about one some years ago that I haven't been able to find. The basic premise is that small groups were set up in a controlled situation and given the task of coming up with some kind of a business plan. They had people observe the interactions and identify who they thought were leaders, and inevitably it was the people that spoke first and or loudest that were perceived as leaders who helped guide the team to a correct solution to this fairly subjective problem. The twist was that the study was also replicated with the groups given the task to solve a mathematical problem. Again, the loud ones were perceived as the ones who led the group to the right answer, even though in this case the answer was often objectively incorrect. Having worked in the business world for many years, I can say that I've seen many people who are in positions of leadership, management solely because they were loud, assertive and confident, despite being wrong. Or, along similar lines. He who laughs last laughs best, but he may get a reputation for being a little slow on the uptake. My ex-husband. We couldn't discuss anything. His answer to every problem was just to scream over me until he got his way.